All right, so how y'all doing? I know um, before I start this video, I am going to say it's been a while since I've talked to you guys like this because the past few videos that I've posted are like funny videos or pre-recorded videos. I haven't really done a live commentary in a minute. And plus, I haven't really played Call of Duty in a minute before the Right Tech came out. And even when the Right Tech came out, I just got a gold and I just did. I didn't play because of, I don't know, I'm just not having fun with the game right now. And honestly, I'm just waiting for the new trailer game to come out and honestly don't disappoint us. Anyways, um, I'm making a video on Call of Duty right now. But I am going to talk to you guys on another video about what's going on in my life. You know I love making videos just talking to you guys and whatnot. So I'm gonna make that video next. Now we're gonna talk about Call of Duty. Because Call of Duty just came out with their season 4 mid-season update. And there's a lot of things to change. Or there's a lot of things that change. But we're only gonna focus on one thing and that's the sniper changes. It's not one thing. It's actually quite a bit but... I'm gonna go to the private match just to show, but um, I'm gonna put the patch notes in the description down below so you guys can read it for yourselves, not just about the snipers. With that said, let's focus on the snipers. Let's start off with the AX50. I don't know if these apply in Warzone, but in AX50, increased damage range, which in multiplayer you won't really notice that much. I don't know the specific numbers on these buffs, so if you guys want to know that, go over to Exclusive Vase's channel. I'm also going to leave a link on his on the description down below about his channel. On the HDR, it says gar uh, guaranteed one hit to the lower torso or in any range, which is great, and I know that's just in multiplayer because you can't do that in Warzone unless it's a headshot. That's great. Um, Mark II Carbine, faster movement speed, increased damage range, which I don't really think it needed a buff because the MK2 is kind of busted. So yeah, um, Dragunov also got buffed, increased ADS speed, which is really important in this game. The Dragunov felt really slow, like the fire rate was fast, ADS wasn't, it didn't feel as fast, so it didn't feel smooth to use. That's why not a lot of people used it. It's a two hit kill minimum because back then if you won, uh, if you don't one hit, sometimes you get two hit markers which is really stupid. Now they buffed that too. Reduced recoil, I don't know how much that is and fire rate is also buffed. So the car 98 got the best buffs in my opinion. It's increased ADS speed, like look at that. I know it's not, if you're not a sniper you won't notice a difference but now it feels like I'm playing cranked because of how fast the ADS is. Like look at look how fast that is man. Like it feel actually feels like I'm playing crank to the point where it's honestly hard to control at times. Like it, it's probably because I'm not used to it yet, but it feels like the bolt is not like the bolt is kind of slow and the ADS is fast. I know the Car 98 has a fast bolt compared to the other snipers, but like the ADS is way too fast now. It doesn't even feel like in rhythm. Maybe it's just me, maybe I just need to get used to it. But like like look how fast that is man, like, that is really fast, so the car 98 small decrease in hip hip spread too, so if you see the crosshair right now, or you see the crosshair right now is a little slower than normal, than before except when you move, and then yeah that's all that is, increase car 98 increase ADS speed, small hip fire decrease in spread, and increase damage range, I don't know how big the damage range difference is, uh, the ADS is a really big buff for this gun. I don't. I didn't really think it needed it, um, but hey, I I I welcome any buff to the sniper rifles, man. Honestly, I wanted a bolt speed um, buff to the AX50 or the Car 98, and even oh uh, not the Car 98, the freaking HDR, or even an ADS speed increase. But they didn't give us that. But whatever. And there's also a new sniper, which is this. The right tech, right tech AMR. I actually got platinum on it and I don't have it on this class, but um, it's a semi automatic, it's basically the barrier 50 cal. It's f it feels weird. It feels really weird. Did he use the right tech? He did. Um, it feels really weird. Without attachments, it's slow as shit. Like right now, with all the ADS speed attachments, this is how fast the ADS. Not really fast for multiplayer, kind of slow, but I think it's a little bit slower than the AX50, if I'm not mistaken. Or just the same speed, but the fire rate is obviously faster since it's semi-automatic. Like, look at that. Look how fast that is. It's really fast. The fire rate's really fast. And the first time I actually used this, I hit a clip. Which is, I'll show you guys the highlights of the first two games. First two games that I got the gun. I'll show you guys right now. Oh. 
So yeah, um, to unlock this gun, you need three quick scopes on 15 different matches. What I did is I got three quick scope in one match, left, joined another match, get three quick scopes, leave again, you know, over and over. That's how I got it, and it's not hard. Honestly, it's not hard. Um, the only thing is, without attachments, this gun is ass. Like for real. That's why if, um, you guys are gonna see the clips that I got. I actually got attachments on it because I bought this variant. But if you buy this variant and you haven't unlocked the gun yet, you're not gonna be able to change the attachments on it. That's why I still never, I didn't use it even if I I had the variant unlocked. And when I unlocked it, I, I had the ADS increase attachments except for the stock because that's what the variant gives you. But yeah, now I have it gold, so obviously I got all the attachments unlocked. This is as, the, as fast an ADS as you're gonna get right now on this gun. It's not that fast, honestly, for multiplayer, it is kind of slow. But this thing packs a punch, and I don't think the recoil, I don't think recoil is all there. I'll show you guys my class in a bit, but like, the recoil, you'll only feel the recoil if you shoot like this. But obviously no one uses a sniper rifle like that, you know what I'm saying? When you use a sniper rifle, you aim in like that, and then you aim in again, like, it, it, you won't feel it if you're, if you're playing like that, if you're playing like a proper sniper. Gives you a lot of, the, of like, Opportunities for a follow-up shot if you miss. It honestly does not feel like the Barrett 50 Cal. This feels more like the PTRS from World at War and World War II. I know they feel different, but it does feel like a, the PTRS on how it feels. Although it's not a gas-powered gun, it just feels like it. It's really weird. It doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like it packs that much of a punch. But dude, this thing barely hit markers. It's not as it's probably not as powerful as the uh, HDR. But goddamn, bro, this thing is. The only thing I don't like is you can't have extended mags on it, so it only has 5 bullets on the magazine. And let's see the Dragunov buff. This is a Dragunov, I haven't actually used the Dragunov since it got buffed. Hey, hey man, it doesn't feel as fast as the Car 98, but it does feel really fast compared to how it was, man. I've never been good with the Dragunov. Man, the Dragunov still feels weird though, the ADS. Not the speed, but the animation does feel weird. But dude, it is usable now. As long as you aim high, this shit is usable now. It has been usable, but the thing is, it just feels weird. It still does, but it doesn't feel as weird, if that makes sense. So yeah, man, it is usable now. The ADS is not so slow anymore, because back then, the fire rate was fast, because obviously it's semi-automatic, but, but the ADS was slow, so it didn't feel like... A good sniper to use because you'll just feel out of rhythm every time you use it. I don't know how. I think it was scope. I don't think how. I don't know how he freaking used this all the time. Now it's actually really good. I might actually use this a lot more in multiplayer. Like the the follow up shots like that, you can barely hit those before because of how slow the ADS is, even with all the attachments for the ADS buff. But now that it actually got buffed, the base ADS got buffed. It's actually fast enough to. If you miss or you hit marker, you could just go again because of... Well, it's not the fastest ADS in the world, but it's still fast, you know? So yeah, those are the buffs, man. All in all, I'm happy with the update. I There's a lot of things more that I wanted, but hey, I'm not gonna be picky. We ha we've been waiting 8 months for a sniper rifle and we finally got the Barrett 50 Cal. I'm happy. And the buffs that we received, honestly, doesn't make the other snipers usable in multiplayer. Well, it does, but it doesn't make it viable, if that makes sense. Because the Car 98 is so much more powerful now. It used, It's still the best sniper in the game, but now it just sleep above everyone. Like, or everything else. That Jesus. If you guys want to know my right tech class, 
This is my right tech AMR class. Getting it platinum is actually really easy. It's actually really, really easy. Um, the mounted kills I thought were gonna be the hardest ones to do. The no attachment one is deadly. It's annoying to do. That's the hardest part because th this gun without the uh, ADS or without any attachments, it's the slowest sniper in the game, bro. It feels like it. The ADS is slow. The movement speed feels so slow. It feels slower than the HDR without the attachments, honestly. That's just me. Maybe I'm tweaking, but like, I don't know. So this is it with the platinum. But yeah, here it is, man. The ADS is obviously still not as fast as I want it to be. For the car, it is. For the car, it is fast. Whenever, uh, whenever I was grinding for the right tech of platinum, I never used uh, overkill. I just used the pistol because I wanted to focus on the right tech. Right there, you go. There's my first shot with it in this video. It's not bad, honestly. You have to play a little bit slower. The reload is slow, even with slide of hand, and without slide of hand, it's just stupidly slow. Dude, I can't find anyone. This is what I don't like playing this game anymore because of just, people just hiding. And when you're running like this, you're basically dead. I'm dead, bro. I know I'm dead. I just want to know where they are, bro. And I missed. The car 98 still hit markers a lot. Look at this guy. See why I don't like playing this game? You see that guy? I know whenever I play Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the video just turns out to be a complaint fest. But like, that's how it is. The game is garbage. <laughs> I'm just pointing that out like for snipers we got really undercutted heavily bro heavily for red guns it's probably nice as shit it's probably nice because the time it kills easy you don't need aim you don't need great aim to dominate you just need placing but for uh, snipers no man fucking idiot oh man yeah man those are the, the freaking buffs, or those are what's new for the sniper rifles. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video! I surely didn't enjoy making this fucking video, and I never want to play this game again. <laughs> now I am going to play this game again, probably, I don't know, whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed, stay awesome, peace out, have a blessed day everyone, and yeah, tell me if you guys get the uh, right tech platinum and whatever. See you guys.